What is up YouTube? Uh, back again. Uh, a little bit of a different video today. I'm gonna be coming back to you in a minute from my apartment, but uh, I'm gonna show you today how to properly set and use a mouse trap and uh, kind of tips on where to place them and how to get better results using them. So stay tuned. Uh, this is a video you definitely want to watch if you have mice. What is up YouTube? Wasp Hunter back again with another video. Today we're going to give you a how to set a mouse trap and properly use it tutorial video. So a little different than my normal wasp and yellow jacket nest removals, but uh, as a pest control technician I deal with a lot of other issues. Probably the biggest issue I deal with other than wasps are ants and mice. Uh, if you have mice, no one wants them. So today I'm going to show you how to use a simple snap trap. I'm using a Victor snap trap. Uh, they are great quality ones if you're looking for a brand to buy. Uh, first thing that most people don't know about snap traps, when you're looking here, right at our little food tray here, you're gonna have an F with an arrow on this side, and you're gonna have an S with an arrow on this side. When setting the armature bar, if I angle it over to the F, it is on the firm setting. If I angle it towards the S, that's the sensitive setting. Um, it's pretty much designed for what type of rodent you're actually targeting. The F would be more for like a rat or a very large mouse, whereas the S is going to be your typical field mouse, pretty much any small mouse. If you've had issues where you've set a trap, you come down, the bait's gone, trap still set, didn't catch anything, swap over to that S side. That sensitive side, it goes off real, real easy. Now as for bait, um, a lot of people use a lot of different things. I've been doing this for about three and a half years and I actually prefer a kind of an odd bait compared to what others use. I mean, of course, we use peanut butter. Peanut butter's great. Um, sometimes they can get it off. It's not the stickiest bait. A lot better than cheese or I've heard other people say they use nuts. Um, none of that's gonna really catch anything. They're gonna take the bait off. It's not gonna snap the trap. You're just feeding them at that point. Um, sorry, the uh, container is really dirty because it sits in my uh, box on my truck, but tip from the pros, this is my preferred bait of choice. Marshmallow fluff is phenomenal. Not only is it very sticky, it's very sweet. They're attracted to the scent of it. They come to it constantly. So next tip is going to be how you place it on there. And I'm gonna have to pause the video after this because I'm gonna have to wash my hands. It's the only downfall of the fluff is it is very disgusting to handle. But so, you're just gonna wanna take a little bit of fluff or peanut butter. You're welcome to use peanut butter. We use it at my company. It works amazing. Um, as long as you follow this tip right here, even peanut butter will give you great success. But as you see, we have this little notch here. And uh, the trick is gonna be to get this bait underneath that notch there. Once it's under there, they really have to dig up in there and they're gonna be licking under there. They're more likely to set the trap off trying to get that than on the outside. But the marshmallow fluff being so sticky, they, they really gotta get into it to get it off. Whereas peanut butter, if they lick it, the whole chunk might come with it and you might not catch anything. So big tip, use the marshmallow fluff. It sounds stupid. I've been doing this for three and a half years. I kill them professionally. This is the best stuff I've used personally. All right, now give me one minute. I'm gonna clean off my hands and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back. My fingers are all clean. We are ready to roll. So this one is baited. I'm just gonna set this aside because I'm in my house. Obviously, I'm not catching any mice. But so step one, when setting a trap, they're gonna come with the little staple here holding the armature bar in. I just stick my finger under there, rip it, throw the staple away. It has nothing to do with anything. You don't need it. Step two, you are going to pull the snap all the way back. You're gonna hold it with your hand. Now, big tip also, if you've never set mouse traps before, as you can see, as long as you hold this end with the armature bar, 
you're totally safe. It's gonna snap away, it's never gonna hit you. Even when it's set, if you're going to pick it up, pick it up from the back. You're never gonna get snapped. Never grab a mouse trap from the front. You're just asking for a swollen finger and no fun. So, we're gonna pull back. Now we're gonna take the armature bar, and first we'll set it in the firm one. It's typically gonna be easier. So you're gonna hold it right here, you're gonna slightly cock this back, and you're gonna kinda release the pressure on your thumb. As you can see, very easily set. I can kinda drop it a little. It's not too sensitive. I mean, something's actually, let me find something to tap it with. Something's actually gonna have to touch it to snap that guy off. So now, we'll go one more time. And this time I'm gonna set it on sensitive. Um, normally, I always use sensitive. The only time I don't set it on sensitive is if I'm putting it in a drop ceiling, something of that nature, where I'm reaching it up and setting it down where I can't reach very easily, because you're gonna set it down and it's gonna snap off over and over again. But so, oops, wow. I don't know if it's just my table or what, but that's actually not very sensitive there. Still sensitive, but normally when I set them down, they snap off constantly. I don't know, maybe it's just my counter, but uh, I actually didn't notice a huge difference between sensitive and firm on that one, so we'll give it one more try here. This time we're gonna set it in the firm position. Look at that, I actually broke it. Ew. That one snapped real easily, so a little uh, discrediting to the firm and sensitive, but either way. So now when placing a trap, you see a lot of people just kind of place them on the floor. You, you never want to just put it in the open. Mice are a creature of habit. They're going to follow the baseboards of your house. If they're on the exterior of your house, they're gonna follow along the foundation. They're not gonna walk around two feet away from the house in the wide open. They like to be in cover, they don't like to be seen. So they will typically follow straight along a wall. The object of placing the trap, you are actually, now, and you know what, I'm not even gonna use this one, we're gonna use this one, but you're always gonna wanna place the snapping part of the trap, if this is the wall, you're always gonna want the trap that way. The mice are gonna crawl along the wall, and even if they don't eat the bait, they're gonna run into it. You're gonna catch a lot. Surprisingly, you can catch more mice with no bait properly setting traps than you could catch putting them in the middle of the floor with bait. It's just, they're more likely to run, even if they don't smell the bait, you're still gonna catch them. So I'll put one on the floor here. I'm not gonna set it, I have a, uh, puppy that's a little nosy, so we don't want to snap her. Um, if you're setting these at your home and you have a dog, uh, another thing that we use in those situations where you have a dog that you know is going to get into it, we also use glue traps. Um, I don't really like glue traps. They're kind of cruel in my opinion, but that is always an option if you have a dog that you don't want getting them. But so we're going to set it around the wall like that. You have the bait there. Hello, Lily. I know, you're a good girl. Boop. And uh, long story short, they're gonna run, and they're gonna get snapped. Uh, it's a pretty simple tutorial. If you never use a snap trap, now you know how. Um, if you guys would like to see more stuff on mice, let me know down in the comments. And uh, other than that, I'm probably gonna post a couple videos later this week of, uh, let's see, like some wasp nest removals that didn't quite go as planned meaning uh, I wasn't able to actually remove the nests. I did treat these, I did get rid of their issue. Uh, normally I only post videos when I actually remove the nest. So I do have a few that I haven't released where I didn't get a nest out. Uh, if you wanna see those, let me know in the comments below. Or if you'd like to see some other things that we do for mice, um, if, if you're familiar with treating mice or you work in the industry, a snap trap is kind of a band-aid. You're gonna catch mice here and there, but you're never gonna eliminate the issue. Uh, a lot of it comes with filling the holes that they're entering through 
and we use poisons. Uh, we use the bait stations. Um, some companies will put the little triangle box in your basement in the corners. Those are awful. We don't use them. I use bait stations on the exterior of the house. Uh, if you put them inside, they're going to eat the poison. They're going to die inside your walls. You're going to smell dead mice. It's a horrible situation. We place them on the exterior in hopes of them coming outside and dying outside so you don't get the dead mice in the house. But uh, I can definitely make more videos on mouse treatments. Um, they're just not really a uh, genre of videos that I can go out and film at work. If I have a mouse house, there's really no excitement in me putting a couple traps down and filling a bait box. So I'm not gonna really release videos of actual mouse treatments just because there's no entertainment in that for you. You're just gonna watch me doing what I just showed you to do for 20 minutes. But uh, if you wanna see more content on mice, let me know. Any other bugs, or issues that you have, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And uh, other than that, I'll see you next time, guys.